things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper of the Day for Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. January 7th, our first week of the year. Hope you guys are doing well already. We got a new Dark Pool level coming in on the SPY yesterday. Not the biggest one, but I did underline it for you right here, 468.33, and guess what? We're below it. That's, uh, yeah, it's not looking too good. But the big question is, are we going to hold this trend line today? Yeah, everybody's watching right here on the SPY. So I'm going to be bullish above 471. And I'm going to be bearish below 466. Let's head on over to the Russell. Let's check that out. Give me a sec. All right, here we go. No new dark pool activity on the Russell. We are going to be bullish above 220 today. It's it's sloppy. The placement of all three indexes this morning, not great. If it wants to push up higher, it's going to have some traffic, right? We got this traffic jam right here. But we got a lot of hammers yesterday, so it should be an interesting day. So going to be bullish above 220, bear below 217.75. All right, so let's head on over to the Qs. All right, for the Qs, no new dark pool activity yesterday, but we're going to be bullish above 386.01. There was definitely a little bit more room on the retracement trade on the Qs, but they're not taking that trip, are they? Bullish above 386.01, bear below 384.50 for the Qs. We just got uh, unemployment numbers, so the market is definitely reacting to that at 8.30. All right, let's head on over to the futures. All right, E-minis, S&P futures, bullish above 47.15. They're taking a, a little dive down here. Uh, we had a lot of uh, contracts yesterday, I noticed. I was watching the tape on the E-minis at that 4,700 level. That is a really key level. Traders are looking to see if we can hold or not. Right now, it's not holding. Bear below 46.78. Next is the NASDAQ futures. All right. Trying to hold on to this 120 simple moving average. This is really key, this purple dash line. Very powerful. You can see we took a big bounce back in the middle of December, right? We are trying to hold it for three days in a row. If we lose it today, then we're going down here. So that's really key to watch for those futures as far as the NASDAQ as well. So bullish above 15.825 and bear below 15.700. All right, let's head on over to the oil futures. Oil's hot. It's been a great trade in the Java pit. We're gonna be bullish above 80.50 today. Looks like a lot of volume just came in on those employment numbers. We're gonna be bearish below 79.50 for a retrace, okay? I put retrace to person's pivot, right? This pink line, it's a popular pattern. We'll most likely bounce there. Uh, oh, let, while I'm here, let me go on to the gold futures. Not doing too, see how gold futures just came up to this pivot, right? And bounced down, yeah, it's amazing. If you don't have these on your charts, you gotta put them on there. You guys are missing out, they're free. All right, gold, we're going to be bullish above 17.96 and bear below 17.88. And we just went below. Yeah, we just tagged a couple of, couple of targets. Hope you guys got that, you futures traders out there. Let's go to Bitcoin. Bitcoin futures. Uh, oh, let me show you something, by the way. Hold on. I have it on this chart. Look what we tagged yesterday on Bitcoin. We tagged the VWAP. Yeah, volume weighted average price on a daily chart. Look, yeah, volume came in the day before, but then they came in, tagged it. Will we hold it? If we don't hold, 
41,000 hasta la vista, all right? That's really big, really big. They may hammer it, but if we close below it weak, that's when things will get really ugly for Bitcoin. All right, we're gonna be bullish above 42,500, bear below 41,500 for the day trade, but in the bigger picture, watch that level. All right, let's head on over to the individual stocks. We got Apple. The big apple. Yeah, so it's not looking too good. We had an inverted hammer, which I know a lot of you candle traders are like, oh, it's bullish, this is the bottom. Well, I don't know, let's see what happens. We got a lot of dark pool activity and we're below it. We got 171.74. We're kind of playing around with that level right now. That's really key, but we are below this recent 173.96 level. Uh, bear below 172, we just triggered that and hit a couple of targets and see how we came down to 171.50. That's the next entry, by the way. All right, if it doesn't hold. It's a little bit dicey. We have a lot of Camarillos happening, which our computers are programmed to buy at each and every one of them, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Bullish above 173.50. All right. GameStop had news. They're going to start NFT. That's the hottest new thing. Everybody's doing it. Um, we're going to be bullish above 156 today. I know it's been all over the place, but if it breaks above 156, I can see a much higher push or a retrace if it goes below 144. All right, we got Microsoft. Bullish above 316 and bear below 314. We just went below that. Glad I got these guys out to you earlier on the app. That's why I send them out individually to you so that you have them in case we get large movements on the employment data. Obviously, they're not liking it. Uh, it doesn't really matter what it is. We don't need to analyze it. Just watch the price action. All right, XLE Energy ETF bullish above 6120. Great whisper yesterday, bear below 60, 60 for a retrace. JD, bullish above 69.25. All right, I'm watching this 15 exponential moving average. We tagged it. If we can break above it, this is our next trade. And uh, we're going to be bearish below 67.99 for a retrace trade there. All right, let's head on over to Ford, which has been super hot we had the first test of uh, 25 this morning a lot of times it'll go a little bit higher and pull back that's what happens on a first test but if it can rev up its engines again with volume yeah i can see a, a higher move but keep in mind we do have a camarilla resistance at 25 15. if you miss the 25 level 25 20 is the next one but I wouldn't get out at 25 though for your target if you enter at that level. I get out at 25, 41. All right, bear below 24. We had uh, dark pool level 24, 78. We're testing that right now, but there were so many pivots and moving averages. I didn't really like anything lower. All right, let's go to Tesla. Tesla bullish above 11.02, 50 cents. All right, if it can break above here, yeah, we got room to go. Bear below 10.65. We had a dark pool level there. 450,000. All right, last but not least, NVIDIA. A lot of dark pool activity on NVIDIA lately. It's been in the insights. It'll be in there again. Could be a little sloppy today's a lot of moving averages but we'll be bullish above 287.50 the upside was a tough trade downside much easier bear below 278 all right there you have it those are your whispers for friday january 7th 7th 2022 until next time happy trading everybody Nothing in that's my